All right, with all the rain that we've had, you might want to think about bringing your Memorial Day celebrations indoors. Yeah, quite risky outside. If you do have a finished basement, problem solved, right? But for those with the basement on the to-do list, it's one project you might not want to try on your own. The sump pump failure soaked Shannon Roberts' already finished basement. She decided to remodel the space for her growing family and quickly realized it was more than she and her husband could handle on their own. When I saw the level of detail that would be required to properly and safely finish my basement, since I have little kiddos running around, um, it was something that was just not not on my schedule for sure. A remodeling job can be complicated because you're likely going to have a number of different types of subcontractors from electrical to plumbing to painting and coordinating them can be difficult. So hiring a general contractor can take some of that headache away. A couple other big mistakes DIYers make, failing to pull permits and not following proper building codes. When you realize the safety issues of the insulation and the drywall and, and what that could mean five years from now or ten years from now, it just made sense to make sure it was done right the first time. We know what to look for and we know when something's not right and we know when to um, make changes to the space. We may discover mold. We need to alert the clients of that. Different things to look out for that our industry knowledge has trained us to do. A contractor knows how to remedy many unforeseen issues, most of which can be avoided with proper planning. The forethought in creating a great project is the most important part of the project, and you don't want to rush through that. Finishing your basement is a great way to add extra living space to your home for your family to enjoy and can also turn into a great selling point and could be the difference between a buyer buying your house and skipping it. Angie List says to get quotes from at least three contractors before hiring, and if they won't pull permits or give you a much lower estimate, say no thanks. And ask to see the completed work at another home before signing on.